Welcome to the Artemis Edinburgh Open 2011. We're here in Edinburgh. It looks like we're in the leafy suburbs, but in fact we're just a few minutes walk from the city centre, Prince's Street, Edinburgh Castle and all that. Uh, we're here at Edinburgh Sports Club. Um, it's a multi-sport club, tennis courts here. And the squash side, which has been running the Artemis Open, which is the biggest BSBA event um, on the calendar for a number of years now, takes place in the main clubhouse here, which is a long building, as you'll see, it stretches all the way down there, which gives you a clue that the squash courts are spread out along there. We're going to try and follow someone in here because there's a buzzer on the door. Let's hope we get there in time. And we're going to have a tour of Edinburgh Sports Club. Right, reception in the shop. Oh, don't take a picture of me. No, uh, it's not a picture, it's a video. Oh, no. You're on film. <laughs> then the rest of the offices through here. This is where club manager and Simon Barton, the tournament director, live. Obviously, Simon's busy organising the tournament at the moment. Uh, we have through here the snooker room. And if you're wondering where the updates come from, this is uh, our little work area. But just for this weekend, of course. Okay, I'm running through. That's, that's a fair point there, actually. Yeah. That's the only thing I, I thought you were very particular on. Down here, we have the changing rooms, or the men's changing rooms, anyway, I'm not sure, yeah, women's, are, women's are at the far end. The far end is through this corridor, so there you've got five courts in the line, now we're not going to go down the bottom, we'll go across along the top and have a look. Up here. Speaking of the devil, here is the tournament director, Simon Batt, updating the... Uh, <laughs> The women's, the Whisper qualifying has just finished, so the, the draw for that has just been done. And we're about to start the men's first round. Stuart Crawford, former yeah. Scottish number one, making a fa fabulous comeback this weekend. Through there we have the bar, we'll come back and have a look at that later. Here are the courts numbered from court one. Look what's going on. Number 314, Andy Wick, playing with somebody named Jetta. That'll be on a while. Moving on down. The updates are coming direct from Simon Ho here on his little Apple Mac. There we go. Foot two. Court three. <laughs> Court three. Steve Linden and Jack Bruder. Bit of peace on court four, which is uh, being used as a practice courts this weekend. And one feature about these courts is the fairly low ceilings. In particular, my lob serves are totally useless on these courts. The next court is actually the, the only hardball doubles court in Europe, I believe. It's huge, and what we have in Edinburgh here is a group of elder gentlemen who play hardball doubles. They recently set a record where four of them were playing on here, and their combined age was 320. You can probably work out what the average was. Here we have the far end, a repeat of the draw sheets, results, etc. And this is at the back of court five, which is the show court. We have two players warming up, and the gallery up there. Now you get a quite a good view from up the top there, or even from up the top there. There are more courts. We go through here, we'll be looking out over two more courts, a glass back here, 
and another glass pot which is uh, used for table tennis. So that's the court layout. What we'll do, we'll head downstairs and go and have a look at the bar. There we go. As you see, there's a little fitness room here. Not in use at the moment. This is the entrance to court five and the ladies' changing rooms. How are you doing, John? Not too bad, seeing you. Yeah, did you win? No. Oh dear. No. That was Dominic Hamilton, he's a regular at this tournament. You see, photographic opportunities aren't wonderful here, but we do our best. We have uh, St. John's on it. Well, it's not St. John's at all. It's St. Andrew's. So it's currently on now. Is that all over? Yeah. Um, yeah. He used to go to my uni. Is that finished now? It is, yeah. All over? Did you win? There's a lot. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, very good. That's proof. Did he, did he win, Andy? Yeah, he won. It's just too sharp. Too good. <laughs> Yeah, straight through. We'll see the results later. Yeah. Okay. Through the garage, back up. I'm going to finish in the bar. We always finish in the bar. There is a little bit more viewing on court one here. You can just about see a bit of what's happening. There's the Roll of Honour for the Artemis Open. Not tricky to see, but uh, you can see there's some very famous names won this tournament. Here we are in the bar. And the restaurant area, which gets uh, extensively used this weekend. This lounge area was very busy early this morning. Everybody was watching Andy Murray win through to the final of the Australian Open. Okay, so this is Edinburgh Sports Club and this is the Artemis Open Championship 2011.